Hello, I'm Olsen Henry II, Fox Rot Tango Golf, and this noisy clutch is a 80 meters direct conversion radio made with one of these TC4069 UBP unbuffered hex inverters. This is more or less the schematic, but let's first look at the performance. So, this is what we are injecting it with, and we can hear it go down. The tone is, you can kinda sorta hear it, but not too hard. Yeah, that's where it's coming from. The snapping thing is not from the Bluetooth speaker, it's present also with headphones. Let's it up a bit. We are absolutely hammering it. With local oscillator, we uh, I'm powering it from the battery, so because I was wanted to see if the noise came from uh, the power supply or not. Well, it didn't. It's battery, but our local oscillator is uh, 12 volts peak to peak, and this is the output on top of the output volume control pot. So yeah, the local oscillator is 2 volts per division, but Thankfully, the second channel is only 100 millivolts per division, so we have about 100 millivolts noise before it goes here. So, yeah, it's a tad annoying. I suspect the audio side is oscillating, and the, when you turn down the volume, the output from the audio amplifier is also very unhappy. So the smaller the volume, the more violent it gets. Yeah. So at full volume it's least violent. So that's likely because I have like a series 10 microfarad electrolytic with it. And the termination seen by the logic linearly polarized logic gate is not the best. Yeah. I have the same biasing resistor on both of the, on this, also I just forgot to draw it. So yeah, this is the radio, but not how I it ended up. The oscillator is more or less the same, I used 33, 22. This I didn't yet implement because I wanted to test the rest of it before uh, adding more features. This could be used if I had a ceramic resonator here, it would be the VXO or two of these and use that as a VXO or just a small bit of VXO with a single crystal like we currently have here to get rid for a CV transceiver. This was my initial idea of a mixer that I'd used uh, one of the logic gate as a 180 degrees phase shifter so it would essentially act as a transformers like a balloon transformer but no because this kinda sort of would float in respect to ground and so on. This was the initial idea, so that I would just have RFCs and I would grab the audio and terminate RF there and then put that to the audio chain. I do have two of these in series, but I have like 22 nanofarads in between because it's very high in impedance. So I also added this here as the, like this RFC, but because the mixer I ended up building for this was this one. I think it's by this call sign. I haven't checked actually if it's a call sign, I transliterated it quite badly as one might see, but it is from uh, likely from 1974. Uh, of course, I used parts just uh, that I was well, that were closest to my hand, so yeah, he used a uh, same balloon transformer, I didn't, I used a logic gate. Uh, yes, I did use one nanofarad cap DC blocking caps here. I did use uh, one and uh, four one uh, four eights here, unmatched, with the idea being that I could just balance them. The 200 ohm uh, resistors I used, this is 220 picos here. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't have any bandpass filters here yet. I originally had the idea was that to have this 10 kilo ohm pot as the RF gain and volume control, but uh, 
I noticed that there was so much high amplitude crap at the output that this was necessary to protect this one. So that I don't blow it up. But, and I kind of sort of used 3.3 kilo ohms instead of 33 kilo ohms. Oops. Yep. Yeah. And this was meant as a DSB modulator. I'm using it as a mi receipt mixer. It kind of works, but I think I'll rebuild it for something better. And so, yeah, it kind of works. It needs tons of work, but this cost kind of almost nothing. You get six gates that you can make oscillators with amplifiers with and like hey we have a DSP modulator if I can get this to work we'd have a DSP modulator and we don't I don't think we need this we could use headphones and we'd have a spare gate well the talking electronics microphone amplifier uses two so if we can get away with one gate or we make a sane oscillator and delete this phase shifter gate from here and just use this as the buffer. Then we'd have two for audio, and then we'd have two also for the microphone amplifier, and then we could do DSB. Just have to figure out how to do audio muting on the transmit, and uh, how to mute the mic amplifier on receive. But yeah, something like this. It could work. And then we could we'll have a very flea-powered double sideband transceiver for 80 meters, possibly also higher bands with a logic gate chip. How's that for some logic noise? Uh, but 80 meters is fine. Uh, I wouldn't do it for 20 meters, also because you will not have a good time with double sideband and flea power there anyway. 180 meters is definitely doable and you can get the usual 1843 kilohertz Crystals, the problem of course being that you will get hammered by FT8, unless you like that stuff and then you can just listen to it. Unfortunately, now the FT8 went over the very nice and technical 160 meters net we used to have on 1.843 LSB here in Finland, so that kind of sucks. Not that I don't these days have an antenna for 160 meters anyway, and this was part of the original idea I had, and this is also from Talking Electronics, that hey, I should be able to make a simple beacon for demonstrating stuff, so make this, but use this, like, uh, modify this for 1 kHz, use it as a carrier oscillator to, for modulating it, and key it, and then use this to key it on and off, so you get like 1 second beeps of one kilohertz on the carrier. But yeah, that was the original idea instead of I built a radio. And now I'm trying to make it. If I can make the mixer work. Yeah, 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 I know. I could just like give it a proper toroid. Like, yeah, I have them. I have more on the shelf. But what's the fun in that? Okay, yeah. If I had the fun way, I could use an Ethernet transformer. Like, it even has some low-pass filtering for 17 megahertz in it to avoid some stuff, but doing away with toroids and transformers in general would have been a really cool project to have like this active balloon in the mixer. But yeah, I suspect that with this setup I will have tons of carrier leakage, but it works like we have heard here, and like I used it with headphones, it worked, but 12 volts of, well 10 volts of local oscillator drive for two puny diodes might be a bit too much, but anyway, this was this experimental radio by Ozone Henry 2, Fox or Tango Golf, let's see if I ever revisit this. Yep, that was it. This was also Henry 2, Fox Short Tango Golf.